Hi everyone, here's the time lapse recording of my Frida Kahlo painting. I hope you guys love it as much as I love doing it and I hope you enjoy this video as well. Before I discuss my actual painting of her and the process, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about Frida because I thought most people knew her but my boyfriend and mum didn't even know who she was. So I'll just give a little description of her and why she's a huge inspiration to me in my life, especially just now. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter born in 1907. She sadly passed away pretty young in 1954. She's distinctively known for her big bushy monobrow that she totally exaggerated in her self-portraits. This was one of the aspects that made her portraits more raw and real. Most women would hide these types of things and paint more conventionally beautiful images of themselves. Um, her artworks are really bold in colour, just like her outfits and accessories. She was a big fan of flowers in both her accessories and her paintings. Um, she always said she paints flowers so they will not die. Frida is a big inspiration for me because our artwork is actually quite similar, not in the way they look but in the subject matter. So she painted what was real and raw, she captured identity, beauty, emotions, her own struggles, the things that people don't usually see um, as people usually hide them, like pain, our flaws and our true selves. <laughs> When Frida was only 18 years old, she was in a bus accident, which left her quite badly disabled. She had to get absolutely loads of surgeries over the years after that, and she suffered extreme fatigue and chronic pain. She used this really difficult time as inspiration for her artwork and painted about it a lot through artworks that appear surreal, although she did say, they thought I was a surrealist, but I wasn't. I never painted my dreams, I painted my own reality. I totally relate to this, um, although I don't tend to paint surreal images. I did do a unit on surrealism um, when I was at college doing my HND and I would class it as surrealism as I would still class her artwork as surrealism, but it was based on my reality. It wasn't based on um, things that weren't real, it was my reality and how I perceived things. Frida was um, bed bound a lot of the time after this bus accident. She wasn't able to leave her bed much so there's photos of her lying in her bed with her canvas and her paints and she's sitting painting absolute masterpieces that eventually became really famous and she's sitting painting them from her bed. And that is huge inspiration to me because um, with my illnesses I I am not quite bed bound anymore but I'm still sitting on the sofa or lying in bed feeling quite ill a lot of days and I'm sitting on my iPad um, making paintings and expressing myself in the same way that she did back then. Okay that seemed like a bit of a big intro just describing her so I've kind of missed a lot of the, <laughs> the process of my artwork to talk about but um, Unlike a lot of my other quirks, I didn't start with a colour base layer, I actually started with the drawn on this one. And that was because, again like the Mona Lisa one, I just needed it to look really like her and because I'm not doing her hair, which is quite a, sig a, like a signature um, aspect of her look, um, I was concerned that the portrait wouldn't actually look enough like her, so I didn't want to distort any of the features um, at all really. So I just got the face looking quite accurate and then I added the colour. I started with orange and I really like the orange against the green. I think it looks really good together. When I added the green onto the face, I think it really made it start to stand out. I really like the colours I've used in the face. So this portrait is based on one of her self-portraits. Um, it's kind of me redoing it, but again in a more modern twist. It's got the cut off head that's quickly turning into a classic feature of my artwork. I can actually paint hair by the way and I do in some paintings but I really like the look of it when it's cut off. I think it's dead cool. But anyway, um, this picture side by side with the original, obviously mine on the right and the original on the left, um, it's dulled it down quite a lot. It is a lot brighter than that like you previously saw. 
I'm really liking contrast in my fine art um, abstract type portraiture with home decor illustration type designs in the background. Um, I did look on Pinterest for inspiration for this. Um, I'll pop a photo above of the main inspiration I used. The white and the beige lines and the pink line in the background and the circle which I've kind of make, made look a bit more like the sun. Um, the sun was a feature in my last artwork too and the background was bright and bold like this as well with um, the bright colours all kind of contrasting each other. I feel a bit funny even using inspiration for my artwork because usually my inspiration just comes from my own head. Um, if it comes from other artists then it's really not intentionally and I don't even notice that it's came from there. Usually it's just from my own head, my own emotions, daily life. I don't usually take direct inspiration like that from other artists, but I'm not really good at like design illustration. Um, I don't tend to be able to make things actually look good. So taking inspiration has been really important in that way. But I'll write above um, the artist that did that one. Prints of my Frida Kahlo painting are available in my Etsy shop. The link is in my bio, but my shop name is Kaylee Sky's Artwork. Prints are available in sizes A5 all the way up to A2. I really didn't mean this video to go on quite this long, so I better wrap it up. If you're still listening at this point, then thank you and I feel honoured that you've listened to my rambles for the last seven minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will speak to you in the next one.